British Prime Minister has admitted a significant increase in security is needed to deal with the growing number of immigrants trying to cross into the UK illegally. There have been scenes of chaos in the French port town of Calais over recent days. Crowds of immigrants have used a union strike to sneak into Britain-bound lorries forced to stop on the road. There's are totally unacceptable scenes that we've uh, all been uh, witnessing. We've been looking at whether we can put more personnel and indeed uh, sniffer dog teams on that side of, of the channel to make a difference. And there's also more work being done in terms of installing fencing, not just around the port at Calais, but also uh, around the uh, Eurostar and Eurotunnel entrance. The issue of illegal immigration has proven highly divisive for the EU, which has been so far unable to find any common solution. But as Artie's Polly Boyko reports, putting up fences may not be the solution either. Since April, the number of migrants from Africa and the Middle East calling these sand dunes home has swollen to over 3,000. Aid workers here say they can't cope with the constant influx of new arrivals in the camp. They say it's grown so large that it's no longer safe. And there's no water, no electricity and still no sanitation, which means that the conditions here are getting progressively worse. I'm very ill now. Look. Oh. Here, uh, 20, 20 day, no, isn't it? No shower, food, big problem, sleeping, three day, no sleeping, cold night. There's a sense that the situation here is spinning out of control. Earlier this week, it took just one traffic jam caused by a port worker's strike for migrants to start trying to get into trucks bound for Britain in broad daylight. Now, the authorities here blame the British government for attracting the migrants here in the first place. And for his part, the British Prime Minister has offered to send more personnel and more sniffer dogs to help keep these people out of the UK. The EU's plan for dealing with the migrant crisis is in theory to impose a so-called mandatory quota system whereby each EU member state accepts a certain number of new arrivals. In practice, it's proven unpopular. First, Britain used a legal loophole to opt out. Then France and Germany complained, and most recently Poland, the Czech Republic, Hungary and Slovakia have called the proposed system unacceptable. Hungary says it's so overburdened with over 60,000 illegal migrants arriving already this year that it's now refused to take in any new migrants at all, breaking vital EU rules. The EU's executive body wants an explanation. The migrant crisis is testing the 28 member bloc's resolve and unity to its very limits. To keep the migrants camped in Calais out of the UK, the British government's helped put up this very fence in the port. Meanwhile, France has been stopping suspected illegal migrants along their normally open border with Italy. Hungary's building a wall a bit like this one along its frontier with Serbia. And in response to Hungary's refusal to take any more asylum seekers at all, Austria says it's considering reinstating checks on its border with Hungary. And while the political squabbling continues, the migrants, the so-called burden that needs to be shared, are undeterred by these walls and fences and are arriving in ever-increasing numbers to Europe. Reporting from Calais, I'm Polly Boyko. So uh, France is tightening its frontier with Italy. Immigrants stuck in the Italian border city of Ventimiglia have clashed with police. For days, refugees have been stranded on the rocks along the coast after failing to get inside France. Many want to join family members elsewhere in the EU, but Paris has stopped them, saying that migrants are the responsibility of the country they first entered.